Okay, hello, what is up guys? This is Clone Troop and this is episode 4 of my Van Helsing Let's Play. And to you guys it may look like 3, but that's because episode 2 all uh, glitched and got fucked up with my capture card, I apologize. But, um... Why did we not... Why am I in Crocwook and cr that Crocwook? Yo, whatever! <laughs> Why am I here and not the wolf werewolf lair? Okay, that's weird. Doesn't matter, I know exactly where it is anyways. Um, even if it didn't save. But yeah, we're gonna continue this let's play. But yeah, guys, I think... As soon as I can get Fallout 4 for PC, it did not save. Okay, that's really weird. It... Obviously didn't save. I know where to go though. <laughs> Bitch died. I'm gonna try to rush as fast as I can to it. But um, yeah, guys, as soon as I can get Fallout 4 for the PC, I'll be doing a Fallout 4 modded Let's Play on PC as soon as I can get it. That that will means I'll be doing four videos a day. Uh, Fallout 3 Let's Play and Helsing Let's Play and Minecraft SMP series on Diversity Server. But I should be able to just handle that. I can easily do it when I don't have school. I should just be able to have enough time to do it um, during the school year. You know, when I have school. Fuck! Yeah, I don't know why it didn't save, guys. But now I gotta, you know, go all the way over here somehow. Fuck off! Oh, God. No, it's the wrong way, shit! Oh god, no, oh, fuck off! No! <laughs> and Alex didn't know what I meant by get raped by werewolves. This is what I fucking mean. I need to get him to watch these. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no! <laughs> I got this shit! I got the whole animal kingdom following me though! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, guys. I gotta I gotta make him watch this. I gotta make him watch this, one of these Let's Play episodes. I really do. <laughs> I really do. I do love how I'm finally being able to, being able to do consistent Let's Plays. Because I've always loved doing Let's Plays. I've just never been able to stick with them. But yeah, I gotta... I gotta, as soon as I get Fallout 4, guys, I'm gonna be doing a modded Fallout 4 Let's Play on PC. Oh, fuck the, fuck the gun. I'm using my sword, bitches! Die! I will cut you up and eat you for dinner. Fuck. Why do I always shoot the wrong way? Ooh, mana potion. Ow. Fuck off. Thank you. Urgh. Too many werewolves! Ooh, a hat. Oh, it's boots. Ooh, heavy gloves. Not no, okay. Now let me go to uh, inventory pretty quick, guys. And look at this stuff. I can find it. There we go. Oh, uh, where are the gloves? Here they are. Wait, no, no, no. Oh, damn it. Fuck. There we go. 13. Damn. And the boots. Okay, I got 10. Okay. Awesome. Oh, fuck. Fuck off. No, die! Like, seriously, guys, in the part I was in, in Cro Crookwood, or however the hell you say it, if you just, um, if you just go straight to the werewolf den or, like, straight through it and don't attack anyone, you will get the whole damn animal kingdom just following your ass the whole way and just raping you. Like, oh my god, it'll be crazy. But I can't wait to get farther into this game and get into like going into dungeons and shit. And that that'll be really fun. The fuck is that? Oh shit. Bitch die. This is bad. I'm out of health potion. No, oh, heal, 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 heal. Damn it, fuck off! I still gotta watch this movie, because it is a movie. I also learned yesterday that this game, they had, before the adventures of, um, 
Van Helsing. They just had Van Helsing, which was for the Game Boy Advance, PS2, and original Xbox, which I thought was kind of cool. I just, I never knew they had, first of all, I never knew it was a movie that came before this. Second of all, I didn't know there was other games. Like, see, what happened was the movie came out, and then they made a game after it, which at the time when we came out in 2004, when everyone had a PS2 and a regular Xbox, that was very common to do. That's where I'd probably say the majority of most games for the original Xbox and PS2, especially the Xbox, maybe not PlayStation 2, but for sure the Xbox, the original Xbox, that's where the majority of them came from just movies that they made shitty-ass games after. I don't know how good the original Van Helsing was, but I know this one's amazing. But most of the time when they make mo games after movies, they're usually shit. You know, obviously with the exception of big-name movies like Star Wars, that doesn't count. I mean, like, I, you know, I'm talking about, like, small one-time movies like Tron, for example, or practically any Disney movie that they made a game after. <laughs> but, um... Uh, yeah, I learned that, so, you know, that, that's that's pretty cool. Yeah, I love this game. This game is awesome. And, yeah, I, I realize, guys, that there is no, um... Okay, that's weird. That there is no thumbnail for episode, um... Three of this Let's Play. Uh, I have the thumbnail. It didn't upload for some reason. I'll put it up after this, after I'm done recording this video. No, I'll put it up after not recording Minecraft because what I'm trying to, every morning what I do is I do every, you know, all three, like, Vault 3 Let's Play, Van Helsing, and then Minecraft. I do them all in a row. I record them all in a row, and then I upload them and do thumbnails. So it's just easier that way. Dexterity, willpower, okay. Wait, no, I still need to go into my inventory and get rid of stuff. Okay, I can drop a lot of boots here. But I picked up... I don't even understand what exactly I picked up. It must be... It's not an essence, though. Unless it's this. Armor's like the only other thing I have full at the moment. I guess. I now, now, what is it? What did I pick up? Oh, they're boots! Oh, they're better boots, too. Ooh, cool, level 12. I didn't know that. Oh, that's weird. Plain barrel. Okay, well. <laughs> wow, guys. But, you know. Yeah, I was so... After I figure out how the hell to get Fallout 4 on PC, which will be amazing when I do, I will be doing four videos a day, guys, which will be awesome for you guys. Uh... Oh, I did not know blood could go on your screen like that in this game. The only thing about that is it will make it a little difficult for me to recruit, but not that hard, meaning, like, see, pretty much, well, once I'm a senior recruiter, I won't have to get, I won't have to reach out to 20 people a day, <laughs> which is, like, like, I'll reach out to 10 people a day, you know what I mean? Like, right now I have to kind of do overtime of, of reaching out to people because I have to get 10 partners by Monday. By Sunday, really. But, you know. Yeah, I had to get it by Sunday, which leaves. Five days. I got five days to uh, get six partners. Because I was thinking about I got about four already. Which I can do. I could probably do it in two days, to be honest. I could if I really try hard at it. But, you know, yeah. Like, well, right now, you know, after I get to senior recruiter, it'll be different. Right now, I'm kind of trying to get a job, the job, so. I, yeah. Doing kind of overtime of recruiting right now. I no, I can do it, though, easily. It's just that I've been so busy recently, because yesterday I had a test, so I kind of had to take the day off from recruiting, because I, I did YouTube in the morning, and then I had to go take a test, which was pure evil hell. And then I relaxed because I was fucking, I had a migraine and shit, and I did just, I did not want to do anything after I took that test. And I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure, you know, 
Uh, the CEO, or, or Sam. Yeah, I forgot his name for a second. Sorry, <laughs> Sam. I'm sure he understands because I'm pretty sure he and uh, Mio, the other recruiter, I'm sure they both still take, I'm pretty sure they both do exams also. I'm pretty sure they're still in school. Because, you know, everyone takes exams around this time of year because just, it's just the middle of the year, so, of the school year. So, everyone takes exams. And I know everyone can uh, understand how much of a pain in the ass that is. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. Damn it, die. Fuck. Oh, shit, he has armor on. What the fuck? The hell is up with this shit? Did I turn the music off? Like, I don't hear it. No. Fuck. I need ammo, damn it. I'm dead. Really? Oh, uh, I have to spawn all the way. Well, you know, I don't have to actually go far, but still. Shit. Anyone wondering, um... Yeah, guys, uh, I say Sam because uh, he's the uh, CEO of Wiser Network. And he does still do videos, guys. I think he's, uh, I'll link his YouTube down below. It's like for entertainment, something like that. He does Call of Duty commentaries, which, you know, I can relate a lot to that because that's how I started YouTube. We both started YouTube around the same way. Uh, he's been doing YouTube two more, two years longer than I have, two more years than I have. He started in 2008, started around 2010. So, you know, I've been doing it for like six years. He's been doing it for eight years. <laughs> so, he has a lot of experience. Um, he's like, we can relate because we both love COD and we both started doing YouTube with COD. I, you know, yeah, now people wonder why I don't do COD on my channel right now. I don't really do, I don't want to do multiplayer commentaries anymore. Um... I just really don't. They're not interesting enough for me to do anymore. I just don't want to do them anymore. But, guys, starting next Tuesday, so in like six days. Seven days. Yeah, in seven days. um, The new Matt, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 map pack comes out. Now, I will be covering it when it comes out for PlayStation 4. I do not have a PlayStation 4, my friend Alex does. But I'll just ask him to let me hook up the capture card to it and record some gameplay. I'm sure he'll say yes. And, you know, we'll we'll co-comment we'll dual commentate over uh, over him playing it. You know, like I'll just commentate with him and stuff and we'll play the new zombie map. Like I will cover COD, but I'm only gonna cover the zombie aspect of Call of Duty because that's like my favorite part of it, and that's really the only thing I kind of mainly play on COD anymore. I don't really play multiplayer that much. And I'm like a hardcore Zombies fan. I, I am, guys. Um, yes! Oh, shit. What the fuck is this shit? Oh, this is not what I think it is. What the hell is this shit? Okay, then. What the fuck is going on right now, man? But, uh, anyway, yeah, me and my friends are all hardcore zombie fans, and we, me and Alex just watched, let me pause this for two seconds. Me and Alex just watched the reveal trailer for freaking the new zombies map. It, it is amazing, guys. Like, they took the best parts out of Origins. And, the, and they took the best parts out of Origins. They took a smidge from Alcatraz, which is the dog coming out of the wall. And so the dog gets a dragon breathing fire now. They put the gravity spikes in. There's jump pads. There's V2 rockets you can make fly. Like, there's a fucking bow and arrow, damn it. Like, it's amazing. I am so hyped for two, next Tuesday to play that game now. I want to play it so bad. Like... I cannot wait to record it, guys. Anyways, back to the let's play. Oh, shit. Fuck up. Oh. oh, potion. Fuck off. Fuck. 
Heal, 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 heal. <laughs> Shit, damn it. No! I'm gonna die and I know it. Wait. Ah, got him. No! Stop it. Okay, I have health potions now. Yay! I did that part. Awesome. Yeah, it's up. So I just have a lot to talk about. And yeah, I don't know why I didn't talk about Kai last video because I just recorded Fallout 3 Let's Play, but you know, whatever. Okay, we gotta go this way. Ooh. Oh, I can walk. I'm walking on water, bitches. Oh shit. Well, it's not, I don't, it's not actually water. It just looks like water, kind of. But oh fuck. I don't even. I wasted that so much right there. That was a dumbass move, guys. Oh shit! Die! Ah! Oh, no! Fuck off! Go die in a hole, wolf. <laughs> I can't do that. I did it! Fuck off! Eat you for dinner! Die! Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. Also, guys, what happened this morning is... Apparently, I don't know how in the damn world my cat did this. But, like, she has a... I, I you know, she has a... At least, she has a collar on her. That's like, you know, the, the clip thing. You know, like any backpack has a clip. Now, I don't know how in the world she managed to... She undid it and took it off. To my knowledge, cats do not have a posable thumb, so I don't know how in the damn world she managed to unclip it, but she did. And I've always had suspicions she's never liked the collar, because she had a collar, I got her at first, and I got her, my mom got her a different one, and I, she always scratched her, like, I know the cat doesn't like it. I've talked to my mom numerous times, like, you sure the cat isn't irritated by that? I was like, no, nah, it's fine. I wake up this morning, it's off her on her, on her bed, and she's just upstairs, she's like, why the fuck did that happen? <laughs> but anyways, I just wanted to talk and say that. Uh, where do I have to go now? I have to go this way, I think. Yeah, I have a lot to talk about, guys. Yeah, just of all the things. Yeah, I, I ranted about the fucking retarded-ass New York Regents test yesterday. Not yesterday, I mean in the last video. Um, okay, I don't have to go to it from... What, what do I... How do I get to it from here? I have to go back this way, okay. But yeah, I'm really excited to get farther in this game so I can get into dungeons and shit. And I'm also really hyped to get farther into Fallout 3. Because I've never beaten Fallout 3. I've never really gotten far into it. See, I have it on the PC. I've, I've mainly just messed around with mods. I've never really gotten far into the story. So that'll be really fun when I get far into that. Uh, but, you know, yeah, guys. And I can't wait till I somehow get Fallout 4 for the PC so I can do my modded Let's Play. Because that will be just freaking awesome. Let me just change the way I'm sitting here. Yeah, that, that'll that be freaking awesome, guys. Oh, shit. Die. Die. No. Damn it! Fuck! No! Shit, yeah, I don't really have much else to talk about besides the gameplay right now. I, I kind of covered mainly everything. Um, woo! Got it! Shit! But, um, you know, I, well, I guess I could talk about network stuff. Like, Also, guys, if any of you are, aren't really, you know, familiar with networks and how they work, uh, this was a recent question asked by someone that I was trying to recruit that unfortunately de did decline the, the you know, the invitation to the network, but, uh, he didn't know, like, he asked if he would, like, when he would be allowed to leave, and he assumed it was lock-ins and, like, stuff, like, I will explain this to you guys, like, people who just assume it's lock-in that every network does lock-in, like, no one really, there are a few networks that do lock-in contracts, um, we do not do lock-in contracts, you can sign one if you want to, I'm pretty sure, but, uh, I wouldn't advise it unless you really, really want to be with the network for a long time. But, uh, most networks do not offer them because, well, for two reasons. Well, no, not even two. Mainly one reason is, no, for two, for two. Number one, the re freedom kind of set an example and that 
if no one else followed it, they would lose partners. And number two, people pretty much went batshit crazy after Freedom did a no lock-in contract and no one else offered it. And everyone was pretty much like, okay, we're going to leave your network and go to Freedom if you don't do a not locking contract. And it pretty much made everyone do no locking contracts, which really didn't work for a lot of networks. Like, uh, Machinima kind of imploded on itself because it didn't work for them at all. They were like, oh, we're going to let everyone in. We're going to do no locking contracts, guys. It'll be amazing. Month later, they, they, they like... No one's no one's like partnered with it. There's they don't have many partners after they did that, and they like extremely lowered their requirements. So did TGN. TGN did too after they did. Do they have lock-ins? They might. They might not. I don't think they have a locking contract. I don't know for sure though. I do know a bit about TGN, and I've had some very bad dealings with them. Uh, with their recruiters specifically, and I have to go back. Uh, this way, but uh, I am rambling right now, but I don't care. They see, okay, wait, what was I even gonna just say about TGN? Yeah, that's right. TGN has lowered their requirements so drastically, like, in the past year and a half, or year or two, like, I remember it used to be really high, like, you used to have to get a thousand views per video. Like, every video you made consistently, you'd have to at least get a thousand views. Like, maybe a year and a half ago, it was set to that. Or almost two years ago. Well, it changed within a year, so it doesn't matter. Like, last year, it got changed with that. It got changed. Like, you know, say it this way. Once It was at a thousand views a video all the time. For every video you get, you made, you would have to get a thousand views for it consistently, all the time, to be a TGM partner. And then, you know, I was set for that for years. And then, like, I'd probably say maybe four, five months after Freedom became a thing, they lowered it to, like, I don't even know. They, they didn't even have a video view requirement. Now I think it's just, like... It's just 15, yeah, it's 1,500, uh, it's 1,500 views a month. Yeah, you just have to consistently get 1,500 views every 30 days. That That's, like, the only requirement. That, and it may be something like 100 subscribers, maybe, but I know it's a 1,500 thing. That That's true, because... Hey, yeah, and this is, you know, all goes back to the point of freedom. When freedom became a thing, they really kind of set an example for all the other networks. They really did. But, um, now, what happened with me and a TGM recruiter doesn't really reflect too much on the network. Well, how the network treats their partners, it does not reflect on that. What it reflects on, and I did find out that the horrible recruiter I had dealings with with TGN was not an actual TGN content scout. Even though I guess he is technically partnered. He is partnered with them. Uh, how he... See, I know how he gets away with it. Um, he's not a, a... See, he's not a content scout. He just uses his referral link, I think. And he acts like he's a content scout when he does... He lied, like, all the time. I don't even know put his name. I don't even say his name. He lied all the time about revenues and shit. And, like, about everything, pretty much. He's a horrible person in general. And, you know, I've talked... And then, after I had that dealings with him, those dealings with him, I... And this is... Around this time last year, actually. In 2015, February. Well, February, January. Around February, january is. A bit later, maybe March or April. Um, I talked to another person who used to be a TGN content scout, you know, slash recruiter. Uh, I don't know the name of his name off the top of my head. He's probably still on my Skype list. I can try to find it later. But uh, he made me, like, graphics for my Twitch panels. He made me Twitch panel graphics when I was a uh, recruiter. Yeah, it was, it was in February because I was a recruiter for Aporia. <clears throat> And I was, you know, recruiting people, and I found out, I was like, hey, do you want to join Aporia? And I was like, and he was like, no, but I can make you graphics, and I paid him money, he made me Twitch graphics. So, then, 
My throat is killing me right now because I've been yelling so much. But uh, then he told me how he used to, I told him about my bad experience with TG Eddie. He said he used to be a content scout and he told me that he stopped being a content scout and working for them because all the recruiters cared about was money. They didn't try to better the network. They didn't give a shit about how the partners were treated. They lied all the time just to get money. And, you know, that's what I kind of hinted, that's what I kind of got hinted at and learned from the content scale that I dealt with that was a partner. I don't know if he was actually a recruiter though. I'm told he wasn't by my other friend, but I don't, I don't know if he was or not. Um, and then, but he definitely, he used to be, I have, you know, I found proof of it. Like my other friend used to be the guy that made me graphics and he told me, and I, I believed it because I've seen other TGN recruiters act and they all act the same way. Most of them do, and that's why he left. He just... And I didn't blame the person who made me graphics for leaving if I was with a network that only cared about money. Didn't do, like... The, the recruiter... Not the network, you know what I mean? The recruiters didn't care anything to do with the network. Just wanted money. Didn't care about the fun aspect of YouTube and just wanted to make money off of it. I would never associate myself with any network that supported that. Which is why uh, I left this, closed this account channel I'm recording it now. That's, this is the whole reason I left this channel a year ago. Because I was being harassed by him like crazy. Like he threatened me. Like he was threatening to not partner me and shit and to report my account and some bullshit and like that if I didn't get on the stream and I couldn't take it anymore and I was just like fuck this I'm making a new YouTube YouTube and Twitch account and then after a year I was not really getting anywhere on my YouTube and I just gave up on Twitch um so and then after a year which you know recently I was just like this is now like a couple weeks ago I was just like you know what fuck this I'm going back to my old channel if he bothers me he can fuck off and there's going to be some problems. That's pretty much what I told myself. So, you know, that's the whole story behind that. And, you know, I'm just talking about this. I said nothing else to talk about. Uh, let me just destroy this and answer a friend. Wait a second. Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Comment, subscribe. Check out Wiser Network down below. See you next time. Bye. Peace out.